Hello, and welcome to this video for drawing ray diagrams with diverging lenses. So once again, I've already got my optical axis set up. I've got my handy protractor. We'll put our lens in the middle down there, and we'll make it make it pretty big. Always give yourself room to work when you're drawing these things. So we can give ourselves plenty of room. To work on like that that's nice and big now this time we're doing not a converging lens but a diverging lens so a diverging lens is as you know much thinner in the middle than it is on the outside kind of like that and because clearly my ability to draw diverging lenses is even worse than my ability to draw converging lenses, I'll often use the symbol like that to indicate that it's thinner in the middle than it is on the outside. Okay? Now, we're going to use a focal length of four centimeters for this particular lens so one focal point will be here the other focal point will be here so those are my two focal points label them f and we're going to put our object seven centimeters away it's a pretty good distance seven centimeters and we'll make it we'll give it a pretty good height and, you know make it like three centimeters tall or something like that make it three yeah nice big object all the way out here at seven centimeters now we once again go with our process ray number one in parallel out using focal point you'll notice i'm using the word using not the word through because as you'll see in a minute we're not actually going to go through a focal point so there's my object the ray comes in parallel i'm going to use the fact that this is a protractor to make sure that it's parallel to my optical axis comes in parallel now this is a diverging lens so since it's a diverging lens it's not going to bring the ray towards the optical axis it's going to cause the ray to diverge away from the optical axis as if the light had come from this focal point over here so that's why I say not through but using so the light is going to diverge as if it came from this focal point over here I'm going to use sort of a dash line to help me keep my line straight like that so that is ray number one ray number two straight through the middle so that is pretty straightforward here's the middle where our optical axis meets our optical element ray number two and then we've got ray number three in using focal point out parallel again you'll notice i'm using the word using now in this particular case i've already used this focal point can't use it again 
which means I have to use the other one, this one over here. So I'm going to come in as if I were going for that focal point, like so. See how I'm headed for it, but then I hit the lens, and instead of continuing on, I go out parallel to the optical axis. So there is ray number three. And you'll notice these rays are spraying out, which they should. It is a diverging lens after all. The rays should diverge, and they do. So they don't converge to a point anywhere like we did, saw in the last example. However, if your eye were over here, there's, there's your eyeball, what, and you're looking through the lens, what would you see? Well, your brain assumes that light travels in straight lines because in most of your experience, it does. And so your brain is going to assume that all these light rays emanated from this point and traveled in a straight line. So that's actually going to be our image location is here. Again, we'll discuss this part more in class, but I thought I would just expose you to it while we're here. What you need to know right now is how to draw these three rays. That concludes this video.